We have to understand that there is so much power in our words. We don't really realize this. If you continue to rehearse in your mind negative things, which is a lie, that lie is going to become truth and it is going to damage you, which is unfortunate. So let's go to Proverbs 18 and 21. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So what does that mean? Death and life are in our words. We don't realize how powerful that is. For instance, there are women who are very beautiful out there. Many of them believe that they are hideous. Why is that? Perhaps they have constantly, consistently rehearsed in their mind that they are hideous, that they are worthless, so on and so on. So that lie became truth. As humans, God has given us power in our words. So if we choose to believe in a lie and say that lie over and over and over again, that lie is going to have power over us. I really hope that makes sense. So let's do an exercise. Let me read this right quick. I have written 10 negative things that people may say about themselves. After the 10 negative, I have written 10 positive things that you can say instead of the original 10 negative things. Question from viewer. Some of the things that you have written is not true about myself. Should I still say it? Of course. Yes, you should. It is not lying, by the way. When you say positive words about yourself, you are speaking in faith, believing that God is going to make a way to make your statements true. When you speak negative about yourself, the majority of the time, it is not true. Yet, it becomes true over time. Our words have great effect over our life and future. So here is the list of the 10 negative things that a person may say about themselves. Number one, I am so stupid. Number two, everything I do goes wrong. Number three, I am worthless. Number four, no one loves me. Number five, I am better off dead. Number six, I am always sick. Number seven, everyone gets on my nerves. Number eight, I am constantly having problems. Number nine, God must really hate me. Number 10, I have anger problems. There's nothing I can do about it, which is not true. Alternatives. So instead of saying the negative things, I am going to give you a list that you can say instead. So number one, I am not stupid, I am smart. Number two, everything I do goes wrong. I mean, <laughs> everything I do does not go wrong. So many typos. Things are going very well for me. Number three, I am not worthless. I have value. Number four, I am loved by people in God. Number five, I am not better off dead. My life is worthwhile. I will be a blessing to someone. Number six, I am not always sick. I accept healing in my body right now. I am healed now. Number seven, everyone does not get on my nerves. 
I am very patient and understanding. Number eight. Oops. Okay, what's going on? Number eight. I am not constantly having problems. Good things are always coming to me. Number nine. God does not hate me. God loves me even when things don't go as expected. Number 10. I don't have an anger issue. I am level-headed. God is working on me as well. So, as I stated before, it is not lying if these statements are not true about yourself. Because why? When you say positive words about yourself, you are speaking in faith. So when you speak in faith, it is not lying. Why? Because you are believing that God is going to make a way to make your statements true. That is why you speak in faith. If you don't have it, you speak in faith. Because the bad things that you are saying about yourself is not true, but you are speaking in faith, which makes it true. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Because if you say that you are a stupid person, but you are really a smart person, you are speaking in faith, believing that you are stupid, but you are not. So, in a negative way, you are speaking in faith, which makes it true. <laughs> I really hope that makes sense. When you speak in faith, from the power in our words it is going to bring life in your words I really hope that makes sense so instead of saying bad things about yourself say positive things about yourself how is that going to hurt you it is not it is going to enhance you for the better I really hope that makes sense God bless